What's up? What's up, y'all? What's up? <laughs> it's the Phoenix One One. I know that was a little bit weird, but yeah, whatever. I downgraded to earphones because my headphones are just kind of things happen, you know. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, hi. Hit that big red button down there. Why don't ya? <laughs> you know, just the, that big red button. You hear that big red button down there that has the big word subscribe to it? Please hit it. I would absolutely, absolutely appreciate it. With that being said, let's get into this new C -day, CJ video. And y'all, I am sorry. I know this is supposed to be a very sympathetic and serious ass video, but mm -hmm. y'all know damn well I am not going to gloss over the fact that this is built like His... a Funko Pop. I can cut cut a ser. Oh. Head. She has no fucking neck. Let her be, okay? There are people who don't have necks, aka Big Ed. Nigga. The <laughs> one that one meme that killed was the Big Ed would be the perfect uh, um, person to advertise head and shoulders. <laughs> He's not the only one, guys. We found his people. We found his people. <laughs> All right, uh, ladies and hey. gentlemen. As we know, uh, there's an anime that came out recently called To Your Eternity. Mm -hmm. And see, uh, for me, and it's, it's very it's, hard to describe it's this. It's pretty anime, good, but though. If I had to describe it, I would describe it as <clears throat> a journey of pain, sorrow, and sadness. Like, bro, bro, listen, listen. I ain't even gonna cap. This shit made my. Like, recently, I had some depression. And, you know, I was like, you know what, let me get into this new anime to hopefully relieve the depression. But, I. It's stacked on top of the depression. So, that was nice. Black ass, like, almost shed a damn tear. Like, whoever wrote this was on a mission to hurt everybody emotionally. Like, dog, I ain't felt like this watching the anime since I watched, like, A Silent Voice, and that was, like, three or four years ago. But Bruh. I even moved your name hit me harder, though. This is basically gonna be, like, To Your Eternity in a nutshell. Let me go ahead and give that spoiler warning real quick. Let's if go. If you have not watched To Your Eternity, I advise not watching this video. Do not, not watch. It, watch. But I know damn well, like, some of y'all do not care about spoilers. Like, some of y'all know <laughs> just feel different. So, anyway, so we're just gonna watch it. So, uh, grab some popcorn, grab some uh, tissues because you might need them if you shed a tear and shit. Wait, 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 wait. Where my box tissue? Where you at? Where you at? Oh. So I could not find the box of tissue, but I don't think I'll need it. Let's be honest. I'm a real nigga. I'm a real nigga. Listen, listen, this probably gonna be the most serious. I'm a real nigga in my life. So uh if y'all ready, let's get this shit cracking. Let's go. Alright y'all, so we start off with a nigga sending an orb down to earth. And you see, this just isn't an ordinary orb. Mm. No, no, no. You see, my nigga, this is an orb that captures the reflections of many things and changes in responses. So my okay. nigga basically sent a sentient orb down to earth. So the orb started off as a rock and just literally sat there for a long ass time. Like, what the fuck is a rock <laughs> gonna do, nigga? Like, bro, we can dance, man. Hey. a whole Discovery Channel program right now. <laughs> That's the first thing it saw. As the rock sits there over time on the plateau of the earth, <laughs> and he's doing it in the rainy days of the earth's climate, and he's doing it. Show signs of life, it starts slowly over time growing mass. Look at the green, luscious plant grow on his head. But over time, the seasons change, and as the temperatures start to freeze, the snow begins to fall. Mm -hmm. The rock still patiently sits there. Mm. Mm. That nigga hasn't even moved a muscle yet because it's a fucking rock. Because it doesn't have any muscle. Wolf appears. Baka. Wolf is wounded to the knee, and that nigga dies. That it's nigga dies. The rock starts to change. Most bizarrely, the rock turns into a wolf as that nigga howls into the night. Mm. A boom, but a nigga turned Amazing. And he walked up to a nigga in a damn log cabin. So homeboy right here thinks that this is his wolf, but uh. 
We all know that nigga's wolf is dead as hell. Dude says you were gone for That's two months. That's it. I knew two months? Forget about me, but uh, I'm pretty sure that nigga forgot about you, bro. So <laughs> he gone. He's learning how to eat, but my nigga did not want that nasty ass, stink ass fish that is sitting on the fucking wall for like two months, nigga. So the boy goes to sleep. Yeah, I wouldn't blame him. Where he looking at that nigga like. Bro, what the f are you doing? So homie has to He's like, what is sleep? Family and villagers that left him like five years ago. Like, nigga, that should be a sign, but uh, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> it should be a, a homie. it should be a sign that you know what? Maybe, maybe, just, just maybe they didn't want me. You know, it's like when you're dropped off at an orphanage and you're just still trying to find your mom i'm sorry sorry i'm gonna drop that down i'm, I'm gonna drop that like one. for a homie kind of down bad right they now. left you for a reason like his ass is grass because he running out of resources and everything bro like the only people that stay with him with the old niggas and uh them old niggas dead as hell so he's all alone with this wolf right now and just look at why are you giving us that minecraft bro, he music his uncle his auntie on the wall and shit like i'll see you someday again like bro <laughs> Oh my god. So homie begins his journey across the frozen wasteland. So as they begin their journey, everything seems to be going great. They're finding direction to see where they need to go and mm. everything. They staying warm with the campfire. It's all it's all happening. And, uh, everything goes south real quick. What literally fell through the ice and <laughs> look at the roof. <laughs> that nigga like, oh shit. <laughs> No, so whoa! He pulls himself out of the water and everything, but my nigga got stabbed in his ass. Oh, and bruh is bleeding out right now. So he wraps it up, but in this time period, my nigga ain't got no disinfectants. So he, if he don't find help soon, uh he's he, he gone. Like the the cold struggling. The disease still determined to get to his destination. But man sees a glimmer of hope. He sees one of the directional rocks. So he <clears> runs over to it. But they got a big ass X on that bitch. And he looks over. Man, oh man. All them niggas dead as hell. <clears throat> So bro's mm. already bleeding out, but mm. this shit just made it even mm. worse. Knowing that all his people didn't make it, bro. And my nigga came to the realization at this point, he's fucked. So mm. he walks all the way back to his rusty ass mm. shit on mm. his mm. last leg. Guys, I'm sorry if I'm not saying anything, but they're like, fudge, bro, I sheesh. <laughs> last leg. <laughs> Quite literally his last yeah, leg. You know this nigga's about to kick the bucket. And look at Fushi, bro. He like, hey, nigga, you good? But then bro just passed out. So in his final breaths, he just gets in his chair and he's like, hey, nigga, <sighs> remember me forever. He yeah, tried. Man, bro, he, he just kicked the bucket. He, he did his best, though, man. Damn, bro. That, that's just a terrible way to go out. Dude. Bro, this is beyond up. This dude is die in a rocking chair in this nasty ass dusty ass shack with these sneak uh, ass fish on the wall and this ain't even his real wolf but my nigga fushi obliged it's not even his real right he like literally changed into him what the fuck? Yeah, we we we, we turned into dog nigga. So he takes we, we don't know what it is. Walking the earth. So as he walks the earth, he dies multiple times. Well, this nigga technically is a walking corpse right now. Cause I mean, homie basically ain't quite literally. So and he does a zombie right now. But over time, homie ends up walking into a whole new biome. But then this big ass polar bear comes Woo! and just blasts his ass. Hey, but like for real, can <laughs> somebody tell me why the fuck there's a polar bear in the fucking forest? Okay, let's be real. Okay, it looks like it's been attacked. Number one. It's damn, it's bleeding out. Why is it in the? I don't have an English with this, you know, a freaking global warming. It's global warming, even though we were in snow right now. King Forest. Like, if you don't take global your warming. ass back to the tundra, nigga, boy, I know your ass burning up. So then we meet this little girl named March. <laughs> and y'all, I'm sorry. I know this is supposed to be a very yeah thing yeah yeah we found video. Big Ed's family. I know damn well, I am not going to gloss over the fact that this bitch is built like a Funko Pop. Like, look at her. Uh, she has no fucking man. Look at the top of her head. Oh, <laughs> uh, that vine. That shit. Bitch built like Theodore from Elvin and the Chipmunks. My God, bro, Big Mom and Doctor Eggman. Oh. And God busy. Let me stop. Let me stop because I know this is supposed to be a very sentimental and sad ass video. So, so much wants to go up and become a mother one day, and she seems very happy. But uh, you can't forget what show we're watching here. So this girl Perona comes around and she's like, "Hey, little girl, uh, Perona." <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like the pandemic we're in right now. <laughs> That's a sign. 
That's a sign. So they end up walking out the forest, but then they end up running into Hayase, the main antagonist of the show. Mm -hmm. And later on, we will understand that uh, this bitch is batshit crazy. So they she looks like she got she pegging a Sharingan. Sacrifice one of their younglings to the big ass polar bear named Oniguma, the nigga that fucked up Fushi. Woo! Look at this nasty ass old lady touching on them. Oh my god, why is your finger in her mouth? Oh nasty ass thing. She trying to check. Sacrifice March, bro. Well, she don't know that yet, but everybody around her is like, Congratulations, congratulations. But in their head, they're like, Oh, uh, she, really about to get <laughs> she a goner. Parents, bro, I knew they wanted to shed a tear right there and there. She a goner. An act going on. But right when they got in the house, they started crying, bro. Then highest that's gotta hurt. The house and dead ass says, Hey, little girl, you gonna die. I got the whole schedule planned out for you right here. Got uh, an entire schedule. Taking her away to get sacrificed, dog. And what she looks happy. Taking on March to get sacrificed. This crooked ass arrow comes out of nowhere, and just bangs old girl in the head. So March said, "Fuck all this." <laughs> that sharing gun ain't working. So she out here running away from the niggas that literally have bushes on their fucking heads, and she trips and falls and rolls like a bowling ball. So Ooh. she ends up falling into the lake, and uh, guess who she ran into? Oh yes, that's just. That's just that's so just a sight to see. She coming back to life, and my nigga still has like no conscience, so he he just doesn't care. He just keeps on walking, and then Marcus knows he has to decide to follow him. <clears throat> so the person that shot that old crooked ass arrow was Perona, and damn bro, I don't know who got worse aim, her or that one bitch that missed the whole fucking <laughs> mag in a P90. Yeah, I'm still on that shit. I'm never. Letting <laughs> that. So is he I is never letting that go. But let's be real, that arrow wasn't even flying straight. It was not flying straight. I don't know what she was trying to do. If she was trying to kill her, she got worse aim than a storm, bro. Like it wasn't even flying straight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> he slapped the pear on her hand like that, bro. Yo, that nigga started eating like a dog, and that boy kept on stealing all the pears. So she started crying and just went up in a tree and just started throwing <laughs> shit at him. But she ends up befriending Fushi, and she decides that she's gonna be his mom. But then that's 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 weird. She takes her to get sacrificed. But here comes Perona out here trying to save March from the sacrifice, and Haya say like, eh, eh, let her say, let her say, let let her try. So Perona Ooh. ends up getting smacked. But our boy Fushi comes out of nowhere, and then he starts boxing. Him with the bear, Damn, yeah, get off his whole head. Oh, boy comes back and starts biting on that nigga. Yeah, he ends up killing the big ass polar bear. So, hi, say walks up to Perona and March, and she's like, All right, listen, niggas, you motherfuckers can die right here, or you can come to my land and live. So, she takes okay, it sure. And Fushi out here saying words now. I mean, all he can say right now is thank you, but I mean, hey, hey, it's some bro, you gotta start from somewhere. Yeah, so, right, he took out the whole bear. And they eating that shit up, but old girl didn't lace the food, bruh. <laughs> so she ended up knocking all they asses out. So she throws their asses in prison, and then she just starts experimenting on Fushi's immortality. So they keep Ooh. on trying to kill him over and over and over again, but you know, huh, that shit ain't gonna work. So nope. But that that that's show, gotta she hurt. Works all they asses out and they hit the dash. But here come high March is hanging on to the little life that she has left right now. That nigga Fushi on the whole rampage. Dude. Like, bitch. No. And then look at old girl crazy nasty ass. Oh, how how are you still alive? I don't know. Should have killed your ass. I don't even know how the hell she's still alive. Me too. Paul to the face and survive that shit. So Dude, they bring March she got plot armor. And everything. And then, bro, bro, this is just sad. But them motherfuckers still <sighs> trying to chase after my nigga Fushi. So my man like, all right, listen, girl, I'm going to go ahead and skedaddle. So the man mm. Fushi just said adios and just dipped. And he continues to roam the world. But then yeah. while he's leaving, Hayase catches up to his ass. But then Perona has a clear shot. She yeah. can kill the bitch right here. Do it. Uh, Y'all remember when the bitch like completely missed the open shot? Yeah, it didn't even fly straight. God damn, I need to see a 1v1 with And then she like, I'm um, the worst rated anime of all time to see who the f got the worst aim in anime. So Fushi takes the form of March and <laughs> oh. the lady again. Yo, what is up with niggas throwing pears in this show? <laughs> so PRN teaches Fushi how to read and write. But later on at night, they end up getting attacked by these parasite monsters called the Knockers. And this dude that comes out of nowhere that's wearing these black robes that looks like a whole ass Sith Lord. Dude. Like, hey, bro, how's it feel to lose your form? These old parasite niggas can rob your shit. Who uh. the dude that looks like a whole ass Sith Lord is basically Fushi's creator. So he's like, uh. this little nigga. Your mission is to kill these robbing ass parasites that are robbing our shit, you feel me? So uh. all right. Nigga with a helmet on his head named Gugu. And look how this nigga built with this big ass head in this beer gut. Bro. So while I'm watching this, I'm thinking in my head. Right, like, you 
learned your lesson. Do not get attached to any. Never. Not room. anymore. We're gonna kick the bucket later. <sighs> but God damn it, bro. It, There's a it's reason hard. My nigga Google wears a helmet, you see. So my boy used to sell some shit on the corner at his local farm. Bruh. He his brother in a tent. So Here we go. Here we go. This is her dog. So he finds a dog and gives it to her. So she's like, thank you for your service, nigga. Now take this ring for compensation. Because mm. you get rich off this shit. So after mm. a very successful day at the local farmer's market, that boy Google goes back to the tent and he realizes that his brother just left his ass. So then this guy comes around and he drops this log. So he tells Google, hey, nigga, I need you to wash this log. Make sure it don't fall down nowhere. But while mm. he stands there, the log starts to fall and he sees the girl that he saw at the farmer's market. Oh, hey, bro. Get the fuck out the way. But she couldn't hear shit. So my nigga pushed her out the way, but ended up getting Oh. So he ends up falling off a cliff and his face gets crushed by the Oh. Girl. But then the old booze nigga found him, patched him up, and he was like, hey, nigga, wear this mask. So Google dons a mask and he becomes a disciple of booze nigga. <laughs> but it's booze nigga. She meets Google and they end up becoming like brothers. So then the rich girl pulls back up and my boy Google's spazzing out right now. Mm. That boy like, ooh, it's her, the girl I got my fucking face crushed over. You simp. I'm sorry, but I oughta let the bitch get hit by the log. No, I I don't even, I don't. Him, but bro, she. I'm not even, I'm not, you see that? You see that? You see that? That's exactly why I would have been like, I'm out. I'm out. You, that log, I'd be like, oh, the log going to get you. And she don't hear me. She don't hear me. She don't, my mom go back. The log is going to She ain't hear me. Smack. Pushing her away. What the thing? I ain't no simp. What you doing simping? Talking to Fushi, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> So Google, like, why are you talking to that nigga, bro? Motherfucker can't even I almost it. died for you. You do have, like, a whole ass water pair of decking on your head. But, 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 it looks cool, though. So that boy Google goes on a whole training arc because he's like, bro. A whole training arc. My face, and look at my boy Fushi laughing like, <laughs> Simp. <laughs> then later on, Google figures out that the booze nigga did something to his body. He ended up putting a whole organ in his body that contains alcohol. So he basically Duff. made my dude a whole alcohol bottle. So Dump. That's a mess, dog. That boy Google had had to literally use the alcohol in his body and become a firebender. Hey, I mean, even though his body fucked up, uh, he at least putting it to work. So then, yeah, True. Yes, my boy Google then glowed up. Woo. Looks like hey. Hey. Off. And I guess since he <laughs> hasn't died over the years, uh, his body's actually aged. And he got a new helmet. Hey, yo, the new helmet look kind of cool, though. Yeah. yeah. Nigga upgraded from a pterodactyl to a dragon. So Ren invites <laughs> Fushi and Google Evolution. to a party. And she finally figured out that Google was that nigga that saved her all those years ago. But right when she about to confess, we got to remember this show was a tragedy. Mm -hmm. Nigga ends up falling off a cliff again, and the knockers are back ready to rob niggas again. Luckily, Google survives the cliff. Ooh, so thank Fushi goodness. Google start boxing the knockers again, and it looks like they actually having some success. Yeah. Uh, Till this shit happens. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh my word. She got murked again. Yeah. So then Rin comes in to save Gugu, but the whole house ends up collapsing. So while Fushi's outside getting boxed up, yeah. Gugu is getting crushed by debris, trying to save old girl again. This nigga. It's not looking good for our boy, bruh. My man's out here pouring out all his love and shit. So, so, then, so then homie finally got the At least, at least. At what cost? Your life, nigga. Niggalations, bruh. You cannot. <laughs> You cannot risk your because you're not be risking your life for that for one nah 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 because my nigga Gugu dead We ain't even done with this video and she Fushi did. Tell that homie was dead because Fushi could turn into him. That's how he firebended to beat the knock. So then we get our little force go section. Like, damn, bro, right when the nigga got booty, bro, he died. Like, shit. Bruh, bro. Like, Let a nigga live. Let a nigga get, get laid. Fushi turns into Gugu and dead ass lies to old girl and says that Fushi died. And that's Gugu and he's gonna leave to go out on a journey and shit. But we, we all know, bro, like, my nigga Gugu. <sighs> Gosh, bro, that's that's actually mad fucked up, dog. Like you playing with her mind and shit. And I'm pretty sure she figured out too, bro. I I kind of feel sorry for a girl now. You know what? I might have to take back when I said that the bitch could get hit by the log. Cause maybe I just feel sorry for her. So I, in a way, I, I still I still would have let her get hit. So they end up traveling, but end up getting captured and put on a prison boat. So then we meet Tonari, bro. Uh. Biggest f***ing forehead, dog, with these damn split ends. So Fushi's stuck on this island. He's trying to save Pioran. So Tonari suggests, all right, nigga, you should fight in the gladiator ring. Let's do it, because you can't die. You 
want to when you can leave the goddamn island. So then the turn yeah. begins and oh, my nigga got sniped. Yo, Men's just started, bro. Just running wild and just killing each other. And these people are just watching this and cheering in the crowd like, yeah, what because is wrong with y'all. Well, that's how that's entertainment. Business, but like, damn. So then this guy thought he won, but uh, he forgot about uh the Omoro nigga in the back. Yeah. He tried to kill him, but uh, <laughs> that shit ain't gonna work, buddy. Motherfucker dead ass tried to shove in every single weapon in man's and he didn't even go down. Nope. Yeah, bro, he just gave up. So he gave up and died. Ain't even prisoners. They just here because their family was prisoners, so they just had to stay here on this fucked up ass island. You know, there's some sad ass backstory. You know, Tonary's dad literally killed his <sighs> mom. So then they get sent Ooh. to the island and the dad goes batshit crazy with power. Uh. He didn't give a fuck about his daughter. And, uh, you know, kind of feel bad for a little big full head ass girl. <laughs> so Fushi fights in the city finals of this tournament arc against this old Oh, yeah. He's putting every single weapon in Fushi, bro. But obviously, since our boy's immortal, he's eating. He can't, he, he, he so can't die. He's like, all right, bro, you gonna eat all my shit. Now I'm gonna eat a piece of you, nigga. So then he just takes a whole bite out of this nigga. Like, damn, boy, was you that damn hungry? That's you weird. that shit. Ugh. Boy, you nasty as hell. Fucking cannibal. So Fushi's trying to everything to beat this nigga. He pulled out the wolf. He pulled mm. the fire in the goo goo. But none mm. of that shit was working. So then Fushi has a flashback of Man, somebody talking. I can't believe he has a flashback. into Perona. And when you first see this, you're like, oh my gosh, yes, she's back. But then no, that means she's dead. At the screen, you're like, oh shit, he could turn into her off. That means she's dead. dead. She dead as hell, bro. Oh, nigga, hella down bad, bro. This nigga like, oh, bro, she bad as hell. Can I get a sniff? Just mm, sniff. She gets that elegant kick. But then after he wins, he's come to the realization that, yeah, bro, uh, Perona dead, bro. Yeah. How did she die? Well, uh, you see, the person that Fushi has to face in the finals is a girl that's been beating the shit out of everybody. Uh. So Mans is out here taking a nap outside, and this person in a cloak is coming to him. It's and, uh, the Sith Lord. Guess who it is? Hey, yo, what the fuck? This nasty bitch. Oh, what is she doing with her tongue? She. Stop! She nasty. Yeah, bro. I say stank ass is back. So she fights. Yeah. In the final. She nasty, oh, bro. Shit because he's remembering that, like. Just want to say the Avatar music is perfect for this. <laughs> Agni Kai. <laughs> Yo, this is a bitch that killed March. Her life. Ready? She beat the hell out of this man. Ripping his eye out and shit. Oof. So then Fushi turns into Perona and Hayase's like, she's so light and soft and nimble, isn't she? She was my gift to you. So yeah, uh, bruh. This bitch killed Perona too, bruh. She literally busted in her house, killed her whole family, and she said, I would have felt bad for cutting her stomach. And if you take a look at her stomach, she was pregnant. She Yo, yeah, that's so messed up. Video that this bitch was crazy. Yeah. I know she. Black hair force energy. This is just psycho bitch energy. <laughs> a pregnant bitch. Oh my god. So then Fushi gets. I actually didn't make it to that part. So the spoiler thing, I was just like, screw it. I might as well watch because it's CJ. But like, what the frick? I'm experiencing this all over again. <laughs> wow. Starts running at her ass, but she put his ass to sleep again. And yeah, uh, she became the leader of the whole island. So high is this nigga in. Dear God. So Fushi still passed out and he's having a dream. And then Hayase's in the dream and she starts licking this nigga. Because what she a weirdo. What is she doing? But her fetish is licking niggas? <laughs> Is hell. I know you got some stank ass bro. Uh, well, back in this time period, y'all niggas did not have. No they did not have. They just ate there mints. No need for that nasty ass shit, bitch. And then she tried to bust down on that nigga. And bro, she wanted some of that El Mortal. But Tonari comes in and cock blocks high as head. <laughs> as forehead. Why is her head built like a bear right now? She, they she, she, her head built like Jimmy Neutron, bro. <laughs> she holds her ass up. And my nigga was like, you was not getting some of this El Mortal rod, bitch. So they make a mm. deal so they could leave the island. But of course, but that bitch high say was not having that. There shit. was no way. To sleep again, like God damn, Bill Cosby. So then she <laughs> yeah. just rolls him down a pit and just leaves him there. But Tonari ends up leaving the whole last ship and going to rescue Fushi. So she rescues Fushi and they plan to leave the next day. So everything seems like it's going well, but <sighs> yeah, you gotta remember what we're watching here, guys. Yeah, so Fushi gets alert for whenever it starts to go as well. So Fushi's like, All right, Tonari, take your ass on and uh, get the fuck out of here. I can handle this. shit. Get out of here, Jimmy you know, Neutron. This shit is actually happening right now. Round 11. 
Yeah, bro, they're having a whole ass zombie apocalypse. So everybody's spending for their life right now. So then, of course, Tonari comes out of nowhere. She's like, nigga, I'm not leaving you because the power of friendship. Because the power of forehead. To just pull up. But, <sighs> of course, they're going to get their asses killed. The they start fighting everything, but old little nigga right here ends up getting infected. So the red-haired girl ends up reaching for her hand, but... <sighs> it's too late, my nigga. Here we go again. A whole spear just lunging the bitch. So everybody's like, oh, that fuck. Nigga, that shit just happened. So while old girl just out here bleeding. Shoot us. Stay on the I boat. You're just going to have to lead the bitch. So while they're escaping, big boy comes in and tries to save Fushi. So he picks his ass up and chucks his ass. But big boy ends up getting infected as well. <laughs> All three of them niggas. At least they in paradise. At least they in paradise, yo. This bitch Hayase literally has her sights on her and she's like, hmm, how should I kill your ass? The face. Or oh, the gut. The neck gotta make it quick. Ooh. She comes in and breaks that bitch's back. She gotta die at some point, man. Today the two little niggas. So the Sith Lord is like, well done, but you still got three left. And well, uh, the three left. Damn. Yeah, I don't know how to f do that one chief damn so out here that's cool because they got to kill their three friends this bitch comes out of nowhere grabs oh she's God, still she's alive myself oh my gosh but what's you just getting crushed by a bear how are you moving that fast <laughs> she knocked that little nigga out and grabbed her at the same damn time in under like two seconds and Bru like I, I, now I, i'll kill those children for you please let me kill them nigga for you Oh my god, <laughs> that bitch is crazy. She, she is, I, 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 bruh. Dirty roll to protect you. And she's like, don't move, nigga, or so I'm gonna throw this bitch in a burning pit. But mm. then Tonari's like, all right, bruh, I'm gonna have to sacrifice myself for the greater good. For the greater she good. With old girl and pulls her into the pit. But this man, oh, snap. And saved him, bruh. And put her old crazy ass to sleep. But then, kill uh, her. Side character buddies. But hey, at least the zombie apocalypse is over. So Tonari and the little nigga, like, all right, bro, we just gonna stay here on this island. But that boy, Fushi, nah, that's, 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 just dips. But he takes old girl with him. So then he brings her out in the middle of the ocean. He's like, all right, bitch, what the fuck is your objective? <laughs> bro. She says, it's to be by your side and my man Fushi's like so you literally kill March and Perona for that shit and she's like Perona I mean Perona yes they tried to take you away from me my man Fushi like what the okay so like this is basically Mikasa if she actually didn't have any restraint <laughs> Eren and Mikasa all over again oh fuck then she says I'm in love with you <laughs> Dude, no. that's you crazy ass yandere ass bitch, bro. She on that you know Gasai type beat, bro. So this man Fushi like, hell nah, nigga, I'm out. So he makes a whole nother boat and just leaves her there in the middle of the ocean. Hey, but at the end of this, like Fushi taught us a very valuable lesson. Yeah. Don't stick your dick in crazy. But then Fushi finds the <laughs> arm, but. Hey, 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 where there's a hole, there's a goal, bro. But you gotta be careful of the hole because. Mm -hmm. Not doing so well, bro. And even though he make a save you from death, Fushi had to learn that father time will catch up on your ass. So old grandma PR and kick the bucket, bro. Damn, bro, this like the this is like the eighth or ninth death, like Jesus <sighs> Christ. Whew. So and it all hurts. To your eternity, a journey of pain, sadness, and sorrow. But this was basically to your eternity in a nutshell. Hey, but it was pretty dang good though, and I already heard that they already making a season two. Hey, but, yeah, and season two gonna slap even harder. This video was long as hell. But anyway, so uh, y'all take it easy, and uh, I'm out this hoe. Subscribe. Uh, yes, please do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> to your eternity. I hadn't gotten that far. I had only had gotten as far as the tournament arc thingy, right? But I didn't know that Corona died. Nerona. Corona died. Freaking hell. I had, I had no idea that from there on now that that was just like, oh shoot. That's that's a thump. I'm still going through this emotional roller coaster. At least Jimmy Neutron survived and uh Mikasa's Yandere version. Is yeah, she's gonna come back in season two, I swear. And with that being said, please let me know how you guys thought about the video, and please let me know what you'd love to see me react to next. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next CJ the CJ CJ the Champ.